Today, today we're going to play Rogue Tower and have another go of getting blisters only. Um, I did swap what PC I'm using, so I'm on my new computer here. This game is not cloud, so you'd have to copy your saves over. I could only find some files that were meant to work for that, and, but they didn't. But luckily, because I'm using the mods, this thing at least goes fast. So I don't have anywhere near as much XP as I did, but I've after two runs, luckily going at full pace, so it took about 45 minutes. Um, I managed to get enough XP to, to cover what I needed for doing this particular run, the uh, ballistas only. So hopefully I can make some XP here to, to make everything else viable again. So, I'm going to put some on there, because we're going to benefit from the two. But I think that even though I like the idea of um, getting guys right next to the houses straight away, I think it's important to have guys in positions of significance quick. So we will just sort of work forward and take advantage of our hills. Um, so that's a good spot right there that we can use. And hopefully we get a, a hardy little bit of single run before we, we have a split. Let's get that house in before we do the next turn so we get the money for the positioning. All right, so that's our first split. So not too much. So the strategy change I want to do from this one from the last time. The last time I did it, attempt one was as many towers as possible, not upgrading anyone. Whereas this time it's going to be uh, as uh, as few towers as possible, really focusing on upgrading. So I think it's important too that we don't get too in our heads about like being right next to these houses really early. Um, what the health ones? Really? What we want to do is get up on the hills. We can sort of hit guys as they're coming by. Particularly if we just don't extend that anymore and so the majority of guys come through this way. Good. Alright, we'll take the bleed over the slow. Uh, we'll get someone up on that hill. Now, at the moment, everyone is still set, set to progress. In part, that's just because we're laying down our foundation and we want to have a look at basically what our design's going to be before we make any uh, make any more adjustments. We will keep going that way because these guys are going to have to fight across this this row twice. Like, these guys can have two looks at them if I build on this these sort of hills here. Great. Uh, Finally get that slow. Great if this comes all the way back down to here somehow. Um, we will go for the, the positions next to the house here now. Just morph so I don't forget later really. We will go against this one too. Slowing him some additional. We do have Oogie coming in only a few waves, so I really want to just more set up that I'm, I'm ready for him rather than trying to get the money. A right, chance to freeze is quite nice. Guarantee if I click on this one, it's going to split immediately, and then the majority of guys are going to come this way. Been burnt that way many times. Good. All right, so let's go more damage. Oh, let's get a guy in there. Okay, so that route's going to die anyway. But it does mean that hills here actually will also have a benefit for, for what's going on there. So these guys can be relevant, even though they're not... Um, they're sort of right at the end of the fight. I want someone in there too, actually. Let's double the money we'll get sitting in there. Uh, shields, armor, armor.
So I've got three, six, nine, and then I'll put three more here. Or two more, so it's a group of three. Three, six, nine, twelve. I might go fifteen. These guys I'm not really counting at the moment. Get some burn going. That gives us some more house options, but I mean these... Uh, these towers are being pretty expensive at the moment. Which does make it a hard argument to... Um, to sort of keep going with them. So crit chance, burn damage, we'll take the burn. Uh, I guess we're gonna have some more armor coming. The range we definitely want. These guys, it'll make these guys really... significant part of this party. Uh, more range. There is a downside to range though, I suppose, that eventually they can shoot so far away that they're um they're not actually focusing on what you want them to focus on. Really weird thing in the way that I've now started is I noticed uh in this new game, is I have a lot of really thick um graveyards. Okay, so what we want to do now, I think, is get this guy here. We're gonna tell him that your focus is gonna be shield. And we're really gonna ramp you up in shield. See how he does. Helping everyone else out. Now, as opposed to the way that I've, I played in the other one, where I would say, "All right, your shield, then armor, then thing," it's not. It's just going to be you worry about the guys that have shield. Once those guys are dead, you worry about whoever's progressing the furthest. But but your job is just purely going to be annihilate those guys. I'm really glad that this hasn't instantly split on me here. I'm sure it eventually will. The fact that it hasn't instantly is a is a win. Alright, so let's get his shield to 15. Now, his buddy right next to him, he's going to be our armor equivalent. So, your 15 armor, and you are going to be our health expert. Shields, 3 to armor. Sure. Now, that actually doesn't mean that our armor expert's going to get buffed way beyond where he was, but that's fine. Not going to be mad about it. Um, I'm not sure about using these houses. Like I said, these these guys are already costing me a fair bit, but I'm not sure that they're actually making me that much money back in the long run. So um, so we might just ignore those houses. We'll leave these four guys down here though. Let's get one, two. Three guys going to once we can afford this one. There we go. Well, that's a nice range that he's hitting as well. So that's my three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen guys. So this these fifteen towers are going to be what we're going to try and win it with. So similar to these guys. We're going to look at these three guys, and we're going to say the same thing. You're our shield guy, you're our armor guy, you're our health guy. Good chance. So this is our shield guy, so let's get him to 15. This is our health guy. Nice easy bump. Our armor guy. And then these three guys too. Shield. Armor. Help. More range. Definitely making life easier that they're not um they're not splitting. <laughs> Alright, so let's get his shield up to 15. His armor up to 15. His health. Now these guys at the back, our um, so our front nine of these nine guys, they're all those those specialists. Now our back six are where I think that we probably more need um, our progress guys. So you can see these guys are going to do some great work over here, picking on them. 
And then these guys will come in and, and sort of pick them off too as they come around this way. In fact, in a way that now it means that that's so short that those guys are probably going to get annihilated before these guys make it all the way down. Although we can hope upon hope that this turns takes a right and comes towards us. Uh, let's grab that one. Okay, there's our split. So we'll expand on this one, see if we can get them to come towards us. And what we want to do with these guys here is now the question. Do we do we try and go these guys as all-rounders? Because it doesn't matter what's coming at them. So I think that what we'll do is we'll go 15, 10, 10. It's so almost every time we upgrade these guys, we're going to upgrade uh, their health by 10 and their... Um, uh, their armor and shield by five. Perfect. Coming back towards us. Alright, so they're all up. And then these guys the same. So it basically means that these guys that otherwise wouldn't see much combat, they're gonna... Luckily they are still seeing some combat because they're dealing with these guys going past. But I won't upgrade these four guys at the back. They can sort of work it out themselves. They will upgrade a little bit. I will continue to expand this one too, I reckon, because even though those two are the same length, these guys are going to get revisited against uh, a lot of these towers. Depends on anyone coming through here, especially if it can become the percentage, can get annihilated. Wow, if that was the Oogie, he did not last very long. So that's what we're avoiding. So let's increase our max burn. I'm not even sure if we've got burn as a thing chance. Get poison on there. We've got 10,000 gold, so let's um let's upgrade these guys a bit more. So you are our shield guy, so let's take you to 30. You're our health guy, let's take you to 30. You're our armor guy. Uh, what are we actually doing? Bleed, burn, 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 bleed, burn, poison, so we can pick anything. Alright, let's continue to expand out that way. So what do I go for? I went 30 for him, 30 for him. Armor, um, uh, let's get you to 30. Your shields, let's get you to 30. Definitely don't want that. Poison enemy, slow. Which poison, max damage. So now these guys, so we can get the 15 or up into 25. Still going. Gotta make sure we dodge that one for what we can. It's really a shame that these guys don't get to see much action back here. So he's splitting. That's alright, because that should mean that more guys are coming from this line that's going to get hit twice. And move through. Just max bleed. Oh, another dead end. So, I mean, our damage is still 72, but I mean, that's because all of our money is being spent on just, like, any time we have money, we're spending it. And I mean, since I'm only using one type of tower, you can sort of go like, well, 
That really is what it is, I guess. These guys here are getting annihilated. Some really fine work from our back backline defense. I missed these guys in their last uh, cycle through. Not sure if I've said it enough times, but man, do I love the uh, the speed up mod! Absolutely changes the enjoyment level of this game. All right, here we go, another Oogie. There he goes. I'd have another one extra spot on this one too to try and spread these guys out a bit more. So we'll call this the specialist strategy, that everyone's got their role to play. It's not that you're expecting everyone to be able to contribute to fighting everyone, although they quite clearly seem to be anyway. Um, but it's more about that this one tower has its one job. It does make me wonder about what I should be doing at this point, whether I should actually be continuing to upgrade their six towers back here, or are they already sort of far enough along that I need to just continue to upgrade these nine towers, because they're doing such an incredible job as the specialists that they are, that sort of just keep pushing them along. Let's go with the specialist focus for now. The idea that it's just going at three times speed and how long I'm having to wait for these guys, just how long that used to be, it's crazy. Uh, Just have a quick look while we're going. So that damage per second still on the climb. The gold rush is credited for 22% of the um, income that we've got. The house protection is only 8%. I mean, I realize I haven't really overcommitted to doing the house one. There's still heaps of houses with no one there. But I mean, I wouldn't. It wouldn't mark against that how much money I'd spent on the houses to actually be making that income. And I do think I would be running at a negative. Like I'd be spending more money on those houses than I would on the money I would make from those investments. Even these guys back here are barely getting a look in. Maybe now what I need to do is just pivot to just leveling these six houses here. Because it's these guys here I think that are that start to spawn guys that are really tricky, but if they're getting killed all the way back there, it's addressing that major 
like the biggest problem in this uh, so quickly. Just the undercover MVPs of these guys here just doing their work that it's cutting so much of this down. I mean, obviously, they haven't been leveled anywhere near as much, so the amount of work they're doing is definitely appreciated. Alright, here we go. Let's get these six guys further up. The thing is that if I was leveling everything else, like, say, shield for this guy, that would be costing me the same amount of money per level to upgrade as I am to make his armor even better. So I may as well just have him focusing on his, his profession. Specialty. Alright, there we go, we're reaching the end of our roads now. Final three levels. But this definitely takes some, uh, ramps up another difficulty step uh, around now. You can see that these guys are getting closer. So I do think that we will level up these six guys a bit more now too. These guys, I think, like, will release guys as they take damage. So, if, um, that's the case, then we want to be getting those shots on them as early as possible, which this setup, I mean, part of this is lucky design. Um, it's definitely helping towards. See how many of those guys there are. They're all problems. See how close these guys are sort of getting here. If they're not getting hit till around here, they seems like their little runners are making it all the way down here. All right, here we go. Final wave. Right after this. Got him coming from the furthest away point, which is quite nice. Hopefully we can pick off as many of these fast runner guys well before then. So we'll go 2040 for these guys, I reckon. comes Big Brain Oogie and he's getting annihilated back there. There he goes. Probably don't need to worry about continuing to upgrade those at this point, I'd say. Happy April Fools. Um... So I think that's possibly the only achievement you can get today is the April Fools one six so I mean since I am performing this on uh, April Fools. But either way, uh it's done there. So that answers the question, are you better off doing multiple of these guys or as few as possible? Few as possible, stronger is definitely the the um answer. And I would call that was that the uh, specialty tower. Specialty focus uh is the way to go. Damage ended up being two thirty four, which is quite nice as well. Um but bang, there we go. That's how we do it. Any questions or comments, feel free to chuck them below. Until next time, catch you later.